Yeah, they're playing. They're not playing, ma'am. It's a tragic truth that not everyone is fit for parenthood. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. Today, we're witnessing the shocking cases of horrible parents who committed grievous acts against their own children. This body cam footage turns its lens on two horrible parents, identified as 27-year-old Gilbert Bridewell and 26-year-old Christina Coe. On April 22, 2021, the Flagler County Sheriff's Office responded to reports from several neighbors about children who were heard screaming inside a residence. Is that someone passed out on the ground right there? Are they both your children? Yes. While examining the area, the mother opened the front door and told the officers that her children were only playing. The children were two and one years old, and the infant was only seven days old. Hello. Are you looking for someone? Yeah, you. Me? Yeah. Yeah, are you the mother of these children here? Yeah, what's up? They just, they've been screaming and crying. Yeah, they're playing. They have the, the windows open. That's what they do. They're not playing, ma'am. Right. He looks like he needs juice or something. He's showing me his cup. Yeah, I was just about to go get them. Okay, well, we're getting complaints. They feel like there's uh, children in distress over there. Yeah, they, and they, they're very loud and they scream a lot. Yeah, it's called a kid. Yeah. They scream a lot and they're very, um, how old are they? Uh, t almost two and three. They're is, very, very is anybody supervising them? Yeah, I was just in there. Like, I was just in there getting them stopped. But I have my other daughter in the So other there's room. like 10,000 choking hazards in there that they're locked in that room and nobody's in there supervising them? As they're screaming for the whole neighborhood to call us? I brighten your eyes. And this apparently has not been the first time from all your neighbors calling in, saying that they hear this multiple times throughout the week. Do you have an ID with you? Aside from the mess outside the house, the police also noticed that the children were wearing dirty clothes with their legs and feet covered in dirt. It was observed that the children were wearing diapers that had not been changed. When was the last time you even changed their diapers? As it's sagging there, probably full. They had a ton of juice and it was probably an hour and a half ago that I changed their diapers. Does this seem to be a safe environment for your children? Yeah, it's completely safe. It's just they're very, very loud and vocal. And since both the windows are open... This is a safe environment, huh? We're still cleaning it out. Their uncle and uncle aunt just left and they crashed the place. So, I'm not enthused so far, to be honest with you. Never mind. According to a police report, one of the officers who surveyed the house found a significant number of cockroaches crawling on the floors, walls, refrigerator, and beds. The report also noted that the officer found a pacifier surrounded by cockroaches and feces scattered across the bed. You notice the cockroaches on the walls? Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can see the... So the screen, the screen here. was in there. Yeah, the screen was in, but you see how they had the holes and so forth. They're pushing their right. fingers through, and I mean, I feel like you could easily push that out if you actually tried. Okay. Um, it took her several minutes to it seemed, well, a, a good amount of time to answer the door. Was the baby with her when she answered the door? No. Yeah, so she wasn't. The infant was, was asleep in the bed. Um, she seemed tired, groggy, kind of out of it, like she just awoken. And screaming, mommy, mommy, shoes, shoes, and just loud screeching. After their inspection, authorities determined that the couple would be placed under arrest given the unsafe conditions in which they had placed their children. Do you want to explain? Or... Sure. So, based on our findings tonight, okay, um, we do have probable cause to make the arrest on both of you. It, it's, it's just not fair to what's happening with these kids. All right, so. All, both of y'all are going to be going to jail tonight um, for child neglect. Okay, DCF has obviously custody of the kids and they're going to be staying with your sister, cousin. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Um, hopefully you guys are able to get out tomorrow. You can get back to your baby. Yeah, um, with what? We have no money. We have no, I have no family. We don't, we don't tolerate this, all right? 
that the conditions they're in is unsafe for them in general, completely unsatsatisfactory. You're gonna probably want your wallet your ID when you go. Alright, go ahead and turn back this. Three pops either, just like your brain. Out of frustration, Christina banged her head while she was placed inside the police car. I know you're upset about your kids, but you hitting your head against that glass is not gonna do anything. You have three little ones that care about you that are waiting for you. Yeah. So let's just get this over with, okay? We're gonna go get you cleared at the hospital. If you don't wanna get any treatment or anything, you'll just have to tell them that. I don't wanna go okay. to the hospital. Okay, but we have- if there, You just tell them that you don't wanna see them and they'll just set a piece of paper and we leave. But according to our policy, because you just had I'll a- I'll fill it out now. I don't, don't want to go there at all. I hate Advent. They right. treat me like Okay, perfectly fine. It's not your decision. It's ours, okay? Our policy states you're going to have to go, okay? <laughs> At the end of the day, this is what is happening. I'm very sorry if you don't want to tell you that, but there's no decision here. There's no choice to be made. Please do not hit your head against my partition. All it's going to do is hurt and damage my car, okay? <laughs> I don't care if it hurts. Do you have any questions, comments, or concerns at this point in time? No. Great. Close the door. Let's go. As a consequence of their actions, the mother, Christina Coe, and the children's father, Gilbert Bridewell, were charged with three counts of felony child neglect without great bodily harm. This next parent, identified as Yomaris Torres Rivera, was caught off guard by the police upon returning home from a nearby bar. On May 19th, 2019, in Cleveland, Ohio, a concerned neighbor called authorities with a suspicion that a mother had left her three children at home at night unattended. This is Cleveland Police Dispatcher Catalano. Where do you need the police? And I'm calling because I think the lady upstairs is not upset. She's got three kids and they're screaming their heads off. When the police arrived on the scene, they were met by the caller, who informed them that the mother had done this several times before. I don't hear anything. All right, did you call? Yeah, this thing is done. She's she's, I don't think she's there. They're screaming their heads off. She's got three kids. And sometimes she takes off and leaves them alone. As far as you know, there's nobody up there? No, I don't think there's nobody up there. All right, because I know she's got a younger brother because I broke him the ticket. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they're screaming their heads off like there's nobody up there. I can hear from, from the bathroom upstairs. All right, because I know I got a little one. When she cries, I'm going to sit there for 45 minutes until she Yeah, but this is constantly happening. Whoa. This is not right. normal. Clear the police! After waiting for several minutes for someone to respond and not hearing any screaming, as the report had indicated, the police decided to go back to the neighbor to ask her to take them to the part of the house where she had heard the children. We're not getting any answer. Can you take us to where you can hear it at? This is a is door there another entrance to up there? That's closed. That, but you can hear the kids actually from there. I mean, I hope she's not up there drugged up or something. There's no way. That's completely sealed. You hear it okay? Yeah, clear as day. Yeah, you can hear it. Let's go. Let me see. So what does this door go to? It's like an entrance for their house. But you know, it's like an entrance shut? there, but it's closed it's because sealed. it's a second apartment. So, so that's this completely won't open? sealed. No. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Still not getting a response, the officer decided that they would enter the residence. Hey, it's the police. Can you hear me? We're going to kick in their door. The door's going to be locked back there? Yeah, it's locked. What kind of car does she drive? Oh, that's her car right there. That's her car. It's expired plates. See, uh, she can't drive it. Cleveland police, come to the door! No, they're, they're back in there. There's a window over here that looks like it's covered. Yeah, I think that one. They're probably back in there. Because the only one that's covered, like that's open from both that's sides. A boy cry. Yeah. Cleveland Police, open the door. I'm kicking it in. Got it through one more inside. Cleveland Police! Cleveland Police! Cleveland Police! Hello? Is anybody in here? Cleveland Police! 
right there. This goes upstairs, but there's a mattress in the way. Hello? Hello? Are you okay? Finally, after entering the house, the police found the three young children locked in a bedroom without anyone left to watch over them. Hello, 3 one radio. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, hey, bud. Hello, 3 one radio. Can you get EMS come out here and check on three toddlers, please? Uh, they're all awake and conscious. Uh, ages two to four. No adults. They were locked in their room with a latch on the outside of the door. While inspecting the house, the police also noted that there was a foul odour inside and there was a lot of trash and insects. They also mentioned that it was hot inside, noting that the temperature was between 90 and 95 degrees. It smells terrible in here. It's, yeah, it's, it's real bad. Guys, do you got clothes? Can you put some clothes on? Can you please? Can you put some clothes on? Jesus. Jesus. Just make sure she's not like, yeah. Hey guys, can you put some clothes on? Uh, contact 696 kids. Get them out here. Roger. Hey, English? Any English? No? Are you guys okay? Where's your mom? Can you have some clothes to put on? Okay, can you help your mother too? Suddenly, while the officers were attending to the kids, the mother returned home. Stop! What's up? Stop! Stop! What's up? Where have you been? My Stop out here. here. Oops, sorry, bud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. Why is these kids home alone? My sister Hello? here. No. What's no sister. Where is No sister. Oh, hey, hey, come here. Hey, 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 come here. You're going to have to wait hey, out here. Hey, ma'am. You're going to wait out here. Over here. Uh-uh. I don't know who you are yet, no. Let me see my kids. Hold on. Relax. 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 She just popped up on the Stop. I told you to stop. You weren't worried about your kids when you locked them in the bedroom and you took off, were you? Yeah, you got ID? My here. My Where's your ID? Your no, your sister's not here. here. No one's here. Nobody's here. Just the kids. kids. Where's your ID? Where's your ID? Oh my god. In your room? Relax. You're gonna listen to me and I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Where's your ID? Okay, well. They were, uh, sorry, they were locked in that room. What's your name? Okay. Liz. You smell like you've been drinking. You just come from the bar? Where you at? Benny's? Yeah. Are these yeah. your kids? Yeah. Are these your kids? All right, you know what? Yes. Put your hands behind your back. But wait, wait, wait. Put your hands. Let me see my kids. No, your kids are fine. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Take it. Take it right now. Please. Relax. Relax. Right now. Relax. Put your hands behind your back. Please. Let me see my kids. Your kids are fine. We're taking care no, of them. No, let me see. Let me see. After getting confirmation that she had been out drinking at a bar, the officers immediately placed Rivera under arrest. All right, you need to relax. <gasps> oh my God, no. Look, you walk or we're going to have to walk you. I'd rather you walk yourself. Come on. Come on. Come on. Walk. You got to go, go outside. Come on outside. Walk. All you got to do is listen right now. That's all you got to do. As a consequence of her actions, Yomaris Torres Rivera was charged with child endangerment. However, she pleaded not guilty as she contends that she had entrusted the children in the care of a supposed friend. This next case follows two suspects, identified as 25-year-old Jacob Kruger and 28-year-old Yahira Tirado, who on June 24, 2019, left their two-year-old son wandering on a Florida highway. Police arrived at the scene where the child was found in the care of a woman who had stopped her car on the road to protect the child from oncoming traffic. She also noted that a mail carrier had stepped in to help. I just pulled over. I found a man. They were walking in the road? Yes, it's crazy. He actually... Oh, I know where he, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Hey, buddy. You want to come to me, or are you good with her? Oh, um, look at this you. Awful. All right, let's go. Uh, let me hang tight. Can you pull over here for me one second? I think I remember this guy. Poor little man. You, does he say anything to you? No, he didn't. He didn't say anything. He's not a crazy guy, for sure. He didn't say nothing, though? No. Oh, okay. Give me one no. second. Come here, buddy. But he almost ran out in front of my truck. 
that when I returned from here, he's right in front of their car. The police approached a nearby home, suspecting that it was where the child had come from. The child was reported to be in dirty diapers and bug bites covered his arms. Is this where you live? You live here? Yeah. That's where you live? How'd you get out? Is this where you came from? Yeah. Hello! Awesome. See my blue lights, buddy? Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna sit in that car actually. Can you hang tight with him while I pull my car over here and we can he can sit in the back of my car for a second? Absolutely is. Come here. Hey, little man. Oh, you poor little diaper. Absolutely. Let me pull my car in here. I'm pretty. I had to. I had to pull over. I had to. No, absolutely. He's just walking right here. Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. And I'm just pulling from Lisa Murray for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It's freaking me out. Would you mind giving me a written statement about what exactly what happened? Okay, give me one second. I definitely will. And I know you're working, so I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible oh, for you. Thank you. <laughs> the officer noted that he had encountered a similar incident before with the people living in the trailer. You know, I don't, I don't want to say it's that trailer right there, right. but I was out here for a similar incident, and it was that trailer right there. So I'm going to try to find the mom again. Same child? They were younger, I'm pretty... They were younger, obviously, at the time, but oh, that's why I'm kind of remembering him. You want to sit in the back of my car real quick? Ooh. In the in the, with the blue lights on? Right. We'll put the blue lights on, all right? Woo! Look at you, man. I know it's so cool. You want to sit in your in your car? Okay, Go ahead, yeah, where it's nice and cold, great. and I'll hang out here with Thank him. You. What's up, little man? You like it in here? Woo! Boom! Push it. Where's your mom? Where's your dad? All right. You are full of bug bites. Yeah, that's that's my uh, traffic vest, so I don't get run over by cars. You know. Kind of like what we almost have to you. Oh no, the car is rocking. It's a hot one out here, ain't it? Whew. The officer continued to watch over the child and tried to play with him as he waited for the witnesses to finish their statements. Ooh, look at that. Push it. Is that one on too? Nope, push. Boom. <laughs> oh, get that mosquito. You don't need any more mosquito bites on you, buddy. Do you do high fives? You do knuckles? Oh, high five. Down low? We gotta try to find your mom and dad. Or somebody. Where they at? Where'd the mom go? Eventually, the parents came out and were confronted by the police. The father reasoned that they were sleeping during the time of the incident. You recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. Do you remember that? And your son today was in the street, walking out on US-1, and luckily some nice ladies Daddy. saw him and stopped before he got smushed by a friggin' car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. Can we get him a new diaper on? His diaper is really soiled. I mean, you can look at it, obviously, but it's disgusting. Like, I didn't even want to walk in there, but I wanted to make sure there wasn't another kid in there. Is this the same kid or a different one? No, it's the same kid. Okay. The same kid that called us last time. He's got a younger sister, I think. In 2018, the mother had been arrested for child neglect after leaving the same child alone in the trailer with his sister. Eventually, the police informed the parents that they were being arrested. However, the father, Jacob Kruger, reacted as though they had done nothing wrong. Step out of the car for me. Come on, step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this without both of you. What, is she getting arrested? You both are getting arrested, so get your kid dressed. For, for what? Child neglect. Why? Come on. What do you mean, why? why? Have a seat in the back of my car. I've had enough please. of you guys. Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? What do you mean, why? Get, get, sit, get, sit in the back of the car. Slide in the car now. Sir. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. Turn around. Come here. You, you're next. For what? Why am, I, why, why am I getting arrested? Child neglect. Put your hands behind your back. What, what did I do, though? What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. Your kid's out on the road. This is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What do you you guys couldn't even doing? do that. What do you think I was doing? Turn around. That's what you were doing. I was putting clothes on. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. That's what it's not fair to you. Have a seat. Somebody, uh, it's they're letting him eat. Old McDonald's that's like 10 years old, they can't get them clothes. 
but he's walking around with his glass everywhere. You know, this is just ridiculous. Additionally, upon his release, Kruger stated that he and Tirado were on medications for certain conditions that put them to sleep during the incident. He also blamed the broken door that allowed their son to get out. But when asked why the door hadn't been fixed, he simply said, there's no way. Doesn't matter if I tried doing something to it. As a consequence of their actions, Jacob Kruger and Yahara Tirado were charged with child neglect. This unfortunate event happened on June 26, 2019, when a 24-year-old mother, identified as Gretchen Markovitz, left her 14-month-old son in a hot car for about 20 minutes while she shopped in a liquor store. The body cam footage shows the officer arriving at the scene and immediately circling the car to check for an unlocked door. Yeah. That for me. Is this your car? Yes, sir. Open it up right now. As soon as the mother and her friend came out of the store, the officer ordered them to open the car and placed Gretchen's friend under arrest. Come here. Turn and put your hands behind your back. What the hell were you thinking? Gretchen could be heard in the background saying that she was under the impression that the vehicle's AC was turned on when they left her son. At the time of the incident, the temperature was reported to be 88 degrees with a heat index of 91 degrees. Start, medic. Start. Don't move. You step back up on the curb right now. 81, start, medics. And I got one detained. Take her. No, no, no. You step over here. Is that your child? Then you come here. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. The car isn't even running. Come over here. Step back. Stand right here and don't move. As a consequence of her actions, Gretchen Markovitz was charged with child endangerment. The child was taken to the hospital as he showed signs of needing medical attention. He was then placed in the custody of the state's Department of Human Services. This next case involved an intense chase that endangered the lives of five children. On January 12th, 2022, officers pulled over a vehicle after noticing it was being driven in the rain without its headlights on. The suspects, 30-year-old Gloris Hairston and 25-year-old Tremaine Denson, led the police on a high-speed chase down Interstate 85 in the rain, speeding at over 120 miles per hour. Listen, you do that?
police reports, deputies discovered that Gloris Hairston's license had been suspended six times and was also invalid on the day of the arrest. Her passenger, 25-year-old Tremaine Denson, was wanted on a probation violation for aggravated assault in Fulton County. Neither of them could provide the police with an ID, and Denson gave his name as Eric Tisdale. When the deputy asked Denson to step out, he put the vehicle in drive and ordered Hairston to speed off, which led to the intense chase. When the vehicle finally came to a halt, Denson immediately took off, but was quickly apprehended. Police said that he resisted arrest and had to be tasered multiple times. They also noted that a bag of marijuana was found in Denson's pocket and two loaded firearms were discovered in the vehicle. After the two adults were arrested, the five children, ages 4, 5, 9, 11 and 12, were reportedly uninjured, despite none of them being buckled in during the chase. You guys okay? Yeah. Next week, we are, uh, here. Wait, that's my sister's road. Is that the one who's driving? No, the Okay, hold on one sec. I'm going to make sure, and then that she doesn't want to take it, then do that. Um, we'll get your grandma. Okay, we'll get your grandma to come pick y'all up. Or Tremaine? Tremont? What's his name? Tremaine? His, 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 so your grandma. Yeah, I was my grandma. Yeah. No, no, Hold on one second. Yeah, his mom. Yeah, you're whoever's grandma. But yeah. As a consequence of her actions, Loris Hairston was charged with felony charges of aggravated assault, hit and run, child safety seat violations, cruelty to children, fleeing and attempting to elude, and drug possession. As for Tremaine Denson, he was charged with felony fleeing, possession of marijuana with intent to distribute possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, four counts of reckless conduct, and giving false information. This next case involved another intense chase that endangered a three-year-old child. On March 2nd, 2023, a mother identified as 36-year-old Tempest Isom was pulled over at North Clinton and Hart Avenues for numerous motor vehicle violations. I called the police station. The guy told me to bring him to 225. He hit my car. He been hitting it with four ways and everything. I just need my car. I'm, I'm signed into this car. Who is, it, who is he That's to my ex-boyfriend. That's my ex-boyfriend. Were you downtown? Mm -hmm. On Lafayette? I don't know the name. And Warren? Of is that where it started? Um, No, it started on Spring Street. Look this way for me. Look this way. Yeah, you were on Lafayette, because your earring's still over there. My earring? Yeah. However, during the traffic stop, Tempest attempted a bold maneuver and fled from the police with her three-year-old son in the car. 262 dispatch. This is number one. Stop! 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 Oh. Oh. We're passing Regal. There's a child in the back seat. She's running. She's running. According to reports, as the vehicle reached the 50 block of North Clinton, Tempest lost control of her Buick sedan and collided with several cars, which stopped the vehicle. This allowed the officers to catch up and apprehend the suspect. Let me see your hands! I have a gun, I'll shoot you! Why? Let me see your hands! Get the down! Get the down! Get the down! I'm scared. One detained, dispatch. One detained. I'm just scared. We're gonna be across of 548 North Clinton Avenue. Stay with the baby. Stay with the baby. Is she under arrest? Yes, yes. All right, we got the baby. Huh, don't let go of the baby. Don't let go of the baby. Huh? Don't let go of the baby. Just put him in the car. Put him in the car. You gotta kill me. Wait, my city out. Can you put my city back? Why are you running? Because I'm scared. Scared of what? Why are you running? I can tell you. All right, well, we're going to get in the car and we're going to figure this out. All right. But wait, who do you have? Get my baby? No. Oh, you yeah, like, oh now you're worried about the baby. You worried about the baby now? Let's fly a crash in front of 528 North Clinton Avenue. Get in the car. Hey, there you go. Did you go over her? Before I get in, can I just touch my breath? I really can't breathe. I got it. I'm scared. You can breathe. I watched video. No, I really did it. Can I please catch my breath? They're caught in that car. I really can't breathe. Can you roll the window down? Get in. Okay. Can you roll the window down, please? Yes. I can't breathe. What the? 
fuck is going on? I'm about to tell you. Open the door. Talk no. No. Okay. okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. I'm about to tell you though. I will tell you. Listen, I ain't the one. So whatever tricks you trying to pull right now, it ain't gonna work. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. All that taking off running. I swear to God. You're done. I was just scared. I was just scared, ma'am. What's your first and last name? I can't breathe back here. Because you were running. Because you were running. When the officer asked why she fled, Tempest reasoned that she was scared. She attempted to explain her situation, saying that the whole ordeal had something to do with financing a car with her ex-boyfriend. Why were you running for? Who, me? Because I was scared. Of what? I didn't want, my baby don't got a car seat. No, that's and not, just, try again. Listen. Try I, again. Listen, I just bought the car. Where'd you I get was, the vehicle from? Listen, I was just trying to find the primary borough. Because Santander told me. 262 dispatch. You ever... For I'm listening. Listen, Earlier today, I got a call from the CNT. I'm going to move the car. And they told me that in order to. See, I feel like. I don't, are you listening for her? I'm listening. Listen, if you want to play this game, we can play no, this I'm, game. I'm just but I'm going to tell you right now. Listen. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. Not with me. Ma'am. Not with me. Ma'am, I'm not that type of person. I'm just scared. So, if you're going to tell me a story... I'm going to tell you the whole thing. All right? And nothing but... Because truth. this was called in a few times. So, if you're going to sit there I and lie... I called it in. Okay. So, let's try again. And then you could tell me what happened. I and know. if you're not going to be truthful, just, then you could keep adding charges. No, I'm not adding nothing. All right? On. So, what happened? That's why I said it's no excuse for me running. I understand that's my fault. I'm not going to say blame that on nobody. Earlier today, Santander Bay called. Tariq in the Nissan truck, uh -huh. he is my, what do you call it? The primary. I'm the co-signer. We broke up September. I haven't had access to this car, right? You got to get a record from the police station to show that he's not, you know, obligating with the thing. I called the 989 number earlier. Uh -huh. I spoke to a man first, uh -huh. and then I spoke to a lady. And then a man called me back, but the phone disconnected because it was a Wi-Fi call. And that officer was telling me to follow him to 225. When I called, I was asking for an officer to meet me on Stuyvesant because I was in pursuit of the car. Because I'm never able to find this person to do what I have to do with this loan. You get what I'm saying? So I thought if I could call you, I don't know. I don't know the law. I just know what they told me on the phone. So I felt if I called the police station, you know what I'm saying? You know what you could do? What? Save your story. Save your story. I wasn't being funny with you. Save your story. That's what you could do right now. Right now, you're under arrest, so you know what? All that telling me right now, like I said, is bull. I'm a grown Okay, because you ran off. First I was off, scared. you took off on us, put us in a I pursuit. Was okay? I'm you crashed right. with all this with your child in the car. I'm not saying it was right. I'm telling you, I'm scared. The child was rescued from the car by the officers, and according to their assessment, there was reason to believe that the child wasn't buckled in during the pursuit. Where was the baby in the vehicle? When we pulled up, he was climbing out of the front seat. Like, they went around to go get her, and we were right behind him. We pulled up, and he was literally... Four seconds, four seconds. We're only coming to a one male under arrest. So he was not strapped in or anything? I don't know. We weren't on the stop. We came from headquarters, and they asked for help. As we were coming, I guess the car came back on them. And they said she crashed. We pulled up. They went around the car. We were going to follow them, but they did fall out of the seat. But when you when you found him, he was not strapped in or anything. Okay. Does he does he seem like he has any injuries? I have Tim's coming to check him out just because he wasn't. No, of course. But I'm just saying nothing nothing obvious. No, he's okay. Just, he's not speaking. Okay. All right. So as we're coming out of Southern, you see these two cars on Perry just flying. So they blow the red light there. We start making our way to follow them. I hit the lights. They both pull over. I'm like, all right, cool. Get another unit out here because I'm not really sure what the hell's going on. Female driver with the babies in this car. The ex, he said he's the ex boyfriend. He might be the, the father of the kid. He was back there, stopped. So she stayed with him. I proceed up to the further up car to talk to the, the guy and see what's going on. And takes off. Okay. Basically, brushes me. She starts taking off down this way. Get back in the car. Come ripping down here. We got her disabled here. She takes off on foot. She runs towards the bar, goes down the sidewalk, into the parking lot, tries to get in someone's car. Okay. And it's like, I got money, I got money. Like, ripping on the door. Okay. 
Can't get out. She takes off our foot again, goes around the thing. We catch her right by the fence over there, right by engine, whatever that is. Okay. And uh, take her into custody there. During her transport to jail, Tempest tried to explain that she takes full responsibility for her actions, but claimed that the whole situation was not entirely her fault. It's not all my fault, but it is my fault. Have you been on any drugs today? I can't hear you. Did you take any drugs today? I smoked weed earlier. And have you drunk at all today? Did no, you drink okay. anything? No drugs besides marijuana? It shouldn't be. What do you mean shouldn't be? Yes, I yes or no? Like the you bought a what? I bought an edible at the dispensary. I don't know. He said it was just around the THC oil. But to my knowledge, no, I don't take any drugs, man. At the police station, Tempest attempted to once again explain the reason why she ran. Based on her explanation, it had something to do with a vehicle she co-signed with her ex-boyfriend. I have a co-sign. I, I co you know, I go with the breakup, whatever that was. The bank told me that I needed to get a police report, and I called here three different times today. Can we do one thing? I need to sign in here. Right? Remember I told you the quick answer her question? All right. After that, all right? Can, can I, is the person I spoke to today on the phone, are, we have no idea who that is, do we? Who did you speak to? I, I don't know. It was, I don't know. It was, a male or female? It was a male. The first time I called, it was a male. Okay. The second time I called, it was a female. Okay. Then she said, hold on. And the same guy I talked to the first time, he called me back at least two, three different times before he threw the four-way at my window when I hit that building. Okay. Like, I never, I never came out the house to do all that. Now, I understand it turned into whatever the love is from me, but my whole thing was just to ask, can we refinance this car and can we get a police report done so I can give it to Santander Bay? As a consequence of her actions, Tempest Isom was charged with endangering the welfare of a child and several motor vehicle violations, aggravated assault on a law enforcement officer, resisting arrest and eluding. We now follow a tragic incident that claimed the life of a seven-year-old girl. On October 16th, 2023, 43-year-old Chastity Bliss was driving under the influence when she swerved off the road, crashed into a pole and a tree, then eventually rolled over into a field. The body cam footage shows the mother screaming after the incident. Okay. The baby that's in the back, lifeless. Okay. Take a seat. Jesus, what? Oh, no, baby. Let me go be with Let's my baby. Let's go take a seat, okay? Please, let me go be with my baby. I'm coming out of right now. It's the baby. Please. Why would you let me do it but talk to my baby? Do you have any weapons on you? No, I got nothing. Put this down. Okay. No, I don't have anything. Do you have any needles on you? No. All right, take a seat right here for now. Please, please, where? Are you a baby? Can I go see her? Can we go? Can my baby? Let me have that. Here. Oh. Chastity was driving with her two daughters when the crash happened, but only her five-year-old daughter survived. It worked. I just did okay. a whole what, So where were you coming from today, then, right now, before the crash? Where did you first come from? When you were driving on the road, where did you leave from? The house. You left your house? Yeah. Where were you going? The Christie's and I'm going to the store. Christie's and in the store? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, what happened with the crash? Do you remember it at all? I turned my head and looked at the girls to talk to them because they were fighting. And I just turned my head. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you haven't used meth since yesterday then? Right. <laughs> right. I took my sleeping pill last night. You took your sleeping pill last night? Yes. I do it every night. Given the suspicion of drug use, the officer conducted a field sobriety test. 
right. Well, I'm, I'm going to run you through a few field sobriety tests here. Okay. okay? Um, I'm going to check your eyes first. Do okay. the uh, horizontal gaze okay. test here. Okay. okay. All right. On this test, what you're going to do is you're just going to follow this pin with your eyeballs only. As it goes from side to side, you're going to keep your head dead straight. Okay. So the only thing moving here is your eyes, and you're going to track this pin. All right. Do you have any questions about any of that? All right. Can you see the pin just fine? Okay. So you can blink if you need to during this test. You don't have to keep your eyes open, okay? While conducting the sobriety test, the officer asked about how Chastity takes her pills, noting that she didn't have nasal hair. How do you, how do you ingest your pills in your meth when you take them? Do you snort them? Yeah. Okay. How do you, how do you explain having zero nasal hair in your nose there? That was from years ago, probably. Years ago? Yeah. Did you used to sort Xanax or something? Yeah, Xanax. Exactly. Okay. How long ago has it been since you've done that? About well, five days when I did that last. Five days yeah. since you did that last? Mm -hmm, okay. All right. Uh, because I, I smoked about three pass away. Okay. Have you smoked any marijuana or anything like that today? I don't smoke marijuana. Okay. All right. All right. Let's step over here into the middle so I don't, so you don't fall off the road here. All right, this next test is gonna be the walk and turn test, all right? I'm gonna explain everything to you and I'm gonna show you what it should look like and I'm gonna ask you to do it, all right? For this test, you need to start out with your uh, right foot in front of your left, so that is touching heel to toe, just like mine is right here. Go ahead and do that now. I can't even do that. All right, and your hands, your hands straight down to your side, all right? I'll do it. Stay like that till I finish explaining this to you. From there, you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps right down this straight line here, okay? I gotta melt a rod all the way from the top of this leg to the bottom. Okay. You see the scarring from the pins and okay. everything in it. Does that hurt you right now? Yeah, that would hurt me, especially the leather. Cold. Okay, uh, but like I said, from there you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps right down this line, all right? While you're taking them nine heel to toe steps, you're gonna look down at your feet, and you're gonna count out every step out loud so that I can hear you, okay? okay? You're going to keep your hands down to your side the entire time you're taking this test. All right. When you get to that ninth heel to toe step, you're going to leave your front foot on the line. You're going to pivot around your front foot to a series of small steps to change direction. Okay. And then you're going to return right back down the same line, taking nine more heel to toe steps, looking down at your feet, counting every step out loud with your hands down to your side. All right. I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. So, one, two three, all the way out to nine. When you get to that ninth step, you're gonna leave that front foot on the line like mine is here. You're gonna pivot around it with a series of small steps like I'm doing right now. Then you're gonna return right back down the same line. Nine more heel to toe steps, looking down at your feet, counting every step out loud. One, two, three, all the way out to nine. Do you have any questions about any of that? Chastity showed obvious difficulty performing the test, attributing it to numerous reasons. Anxiety's horrible, I can't do anything. So I can't do it. Sorry, I mean, a lot of this it's awful. And I'm freezing now. So I'm not too sure what. One. Right, put that on. Chastity also had difficulties in the last part of the test. She was very emotional and stressed that her children were all she cared about. Okay, you can relax. And I shook up right. on top of it. And I, my kid, that's all I care about. She's all right. Is there any chance you're pregnant right now? No. You're not pregnant at all? Uh, okay. Actually, that time right now, a month. Okay. So I'm like, yeah. Right, turn around for me. Do you have any shoulder injuries? Not that you know of. Well. Uh, my mom must be hitting the window. My, my kids are gone. Don't get me hurt. Right now, you're under arrest for OVI, okay? Okay. We're going to read you. As a consequence of her actions, Chastity Bliss was charged with aggravated vehicular manslaughter and child endangerment. This disturbing case 
led to the arrest of three suspects identified as 35-year-old Stephen Kittle, 36-year-old Lindsay Pratt, and 59-year-old Robin Kittle. On March 1st, 2023, authorities arrived at an extremely filthy residence in Stillwater where two children and an 18-month-old baby were discovered living in horrible conditions. The kids' room right here, handprint all over the entire room. Your feet just stick to all the in there. That's the nastiest house I've ever been in. Got to feel like I got a pretty strong gut. That was as nasty as I've ever seen. Stephen Kittle was being investigated by authorities on a report of child sexual abuse. According to a detective, Stephen confessed that he committed multiple sexual acts on the four-year-old child and was charged with child sexual abuse. Can you go ahead? Go ahead and put your hands on your back for me. Can I ask what's going on? All right, right now going? you are under arrest for child sexual assault. Okay, we're not going to talk about it while we're here. We'll talk about it back at the police department, okay? The arrest report indicated that the officers described the smell inside the house as unbearable. They also noted that the living room carpet was so heavily saturated with urine and feces that it was mushy when stepped on. Living conditions were so bad that a dead cockroach was extracted from one of the children's ear canals. Is this what you're talking about, cleaning up the carpet? I mean, there's poop everywhere. All right, there's the carpet floor with one of this in the poop, not the junk one over The officers also described that walls were smeared with feces with visible children's handprints. This report was the basis of more arrests three months later. We're trying to clean up. You go in this room and it looks like you just put all of your hands and like all over the place. As a consequence of their grievous actions, Lindsay Pratt and Stephen's mother, Robin Kittle, were charged with three counts of child neglect. Stephen Kittle, on the other hand, was handed additional charges of child neglect. We've got more police footage to uncover, so stay tuned and check out another video we think you'd like. Go ahead and just tap or click.